Hey, Pastor Scott here with the Weekly Word. We're, we're looking at uh, a passage in, in John chapter 14 today. And in, in this period of time, Jesus had just washed the disciples' feet. Um, he had predicted his betrayal uh, by Judas and even told Peter, you're going to deny me three times. And, and so things were getting uh, deep and heavy uh, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, I mean, just that scene of washing his disciples' feet and having the Last Supper was spiritually heavy. And then, of course, uh, whenever your mentor and your leader says, you're going to deny me, uh, that's, that's got to be a heavy moment. And, and then in John chapter 14, when we're reading it, he says right away, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. He goes on to talk about how, how God's going to send the Holy Spirit. And of course, uh, there's a lot of heavy stuff going on and they don't really understand fully, like we do on this side of the gospel, what it means for Jesus to, to die and go away. Uh, but he tells them, I'm sending you the advocate. I'm sending the, the Holy Spirit. I have to go in order for him to come. And he says in verse 26 of John 14, when the Father sends the advocate as my representative, so the Holy Spirit's coming, the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and remind you of everything I've told you. I'm leaving you a gift, peace of mind and heart. That's, that's a beautiful thing to hear. It's like, okay, I like peace of mind. I like peace of heart. Uh, I, like, I like having an advocate on my side. But then he says this, and the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give, so don't be troubled or afraid. He's letting them know, hey, it's not always going to be easy. You'll have peace of mind and heart, but, but, but it's going to be, there are going to be some hard times there. So in looking at that, a couple of questions I have for us is, how's your peace? How's your peace? In your mind, in your heart, how's your peace? Are you struggling right now? Or are you, are you thinking of a million things? Are you, are you worried about stuff? Are you worried about loved ones or what your life looks like in the near future or uh, what, what the world looks like around you? Uh, have your worries and your troubles and your thoughts, uh, even ones that are you know, legitimate concerns that we have to think about, finances and job and family, all those things, are they consuming you to the point where they're robbing your peace? Or are you leaning in to the Holy Spirit? So, so how's your peace? And then, and then who's your focus? Not where's your focus, but who is your focus? Because the reality comes down to this. Your focus is going to be on probably one of three things. You and all the stuff that matters to you and what you can do. Or the enemy. Now, most of us don't think of, hey, I, I'm going to just tune into the enemy right now. But anything that's not Jesus is the enemy. So it's either you or the enemy or it's Jesus Christ, the Savior of your soul, the one who left to send you the Holy Spirit. Uh, so, so in looking at this, thinking of this passage and, and what Jesus means by, by the Holy Spirit coming and being our advocate, are you walking in and with and by the power of the Holy Spirit? You were given the Holy Spirit at salvation to lead you and guide you, to give you a full life, to be your comforter and your counselor, to, to, to help you grow those fruits of the Spirit. We read, read about in Galatians 5, so you can have that coming out of your life for others and also to be empowered by the gifts the Spirit gives you. There's like 34 gifts in the Bible that are empowerment gifts from the Holy Spirit. Some of them are, are everyday things that we should walk in like hospitality and and mercy and sometimes there are these really empowering powerful like wow aha gifts like praying for healing and for miracles to come but are you living in and by the power of the holy spirit that's where your peace is going to come your peace will not come in figuring it all out you're not gonna be able to figure it all out um, and if you do you're probably duping yourself i mean i've been there your your power and your peace and 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 that 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 rest and that comfort is only going to come by being led by the Holy Spirit, living in the Holy Spirit, finding your fullness in the Holy Spirit, and then living the abundant life. In this world, we will have trouble, but Jesus gives us his peace.